Since 2002, China has been vigorously developing its navy, and its overall strength has been greatly enhanced. In particular, the Chinese navy has been building warships at an extremely fast pace in recent years, with a large number of new warships continuously equipping the navy. In 2019 alone, the Chinese Navy launched 24 ships with a total water displacement of 200,000 tons, ranking first in the world in shipbuilding speed for the sixth consecutive year. Currently, the Chinese Navy has three fleets, the North Sea, East Sea, and South China Sea, with more than 290,000 personnel, 500 ships, and 700 aircrafts. The Chinese Navy ranks first in the world by the number of active ships and second by the total tonnage of about 2.3 million tons. It is the largest maritime armed force in the Asia-Pacific region and is considered the second strongest maritime military force in the world after the U.S. Navy in terms of overall strength. Chinese naval officials, however, face turbulent intra-party struggles and their own problems with corruption and military morale may be greatly affected. China's first aircraft carrier was the Liaoning. The Liaoning was launched 32 years ago in 1988. It was originally the Soviet Navy's Variag, which was shelved after the collapse of the Soviet Union and was only 67% complete. In 1998, it was purchased by a Hong Kong businessman who was a former member of the People's Liberation Army, and in 2004, the Chinese government purchased it from the Hong Kong businessman for more than 80 million USD. Since 2005, the Chinese shipyard has been studying, renewing, and refurbishing the ship. The Liaoning ship can carry 24 J-15 fighters and 12 helicopters. However, leaked video footage of the Liaoning revealed that it is constantly shrouded in thick black smoke from its own emissions, leading some commentators to joke that the carrier comes with its own stealth features. The second Chinese aircraft carrier, and the first Chinese domestic aircraft carrier, is the Shandong ship. The cost of the two aircraft carriers is estimated to be 6.1 billion USD. As reported by Hong Kong's Ming Pao, when the first homemade aircraft carrier, Shandong, was launched in 2017, there were no feelings of jubilation whatsoever. Instead, tension permeated throughout the Navy. A number of senior generals in the Navy were rumored to have been taken under investigation for involvement in corruption, including the then vice commander. A year after the launch of the Shandong ship, the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, or CSIC, which was responsible for the refitting of the Liang ship and the construction of the Shandong ship, had a number of senior executives under investigation, including the group's general manager, Sun Bo, who was expelled from the party and from his official post half a year later, after which he was sentenced to 12 years in prison for taking bribes and other charges. In May of this year, the chief commander of the Shandong ship's development was also investigated for serious violations of discipline and law. The commander-in-chief was close to Guo Bo Shang, the military leader appointed by former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin. As of now, Guo is still in prison. There is another officer's death that is linked to the Chinese Navy. Luo Yang, general manager of the AVIC, Shenyang Aircraft Industry Company, known as the father of China's carrier aircraft, died of a heart attack aboard the Liangning ship in 2012. A person claiming to be Luo Yang's friend asserted on the internet that the real cause of his death was poisoning. China's top leading naval commander is a high-risk position, with three consecutive unconventional departures. The fifth commander of the Chinese Navy, who began his tenure in November 1996, was removed from his post in June 2003. In April 2003, the submarine 361, which belonged to the North Sea Fleet, was sunk in an accident, killing all 70 officers and men on board. Jiang Zemin used this incident as a reason to dismiss the commander. The sixth commander, Zhang Dingfa, resigned in August 2006 due to illness. Zhang was considered to be Jiang Zemin's best friend. 
On December 14, 2006, Zhang fell ill and died. Strangely enough, Zhang was not given the same treatment as previous senior military officials after his death, and there were neither official condolences nor eulogies for Zhang's death in China, which was not even reported by the official media. There are some who say the cause of Zhang's death was cancer, and some who say it was caused by AIDS. Hong Kong Sentinel magazine reported in 2015 that Zhang Dingfa's life credo was to enjoy himself in a timely manner, mainly by having fun with women. Zhang has been the subject of numerous reports and criticisms over the issue, and Zhang's wife has repeatedly complained to relevant government departments about her husband's infidelity. However, apparently Jiang Zemin didn't think it was a problem and promoted Zhang to commander of the navy. Overseas Chinese media reported that the assassination attempt of the top state leader Hu Jintao occurred while Zhang was a naval commander. In early May 2006, while Hu was inspecting the North Sea Fleet in China's Yellow Sea, two warships opened fire simultaneously on a guided missile destroyer Hu was on, killing five naval soldiers on board. Hu's missile destroyer immediately turned around and drove away from the fleet at maximum speed. In order to avoid another assassination attempt, Hu switched to the ship's helicopter and flew back to Qingdao base. He did not dare stop or return to Beijing and flew directly to Yu Wen-nan. The seventh commander, Wu Sheng Li, succeeded Zhang as naval commander in 2006 and retired in 2017. Since early June this year, the Singapore United Morning Post reported that the Chinese government has been conducting an audit of Wu's performance in economic responsibilities during his tenure as naval commander. Some analysts believe that it is normal to conduct an audit within one or six months of leaving office, and it is very unusual to audit again after three and a half years of leaving office. The Chinese military's purchase of the Liaoning aircraft carrier from a Hong Kong businessman took place during Wu's time as commander. During Wu's time, the Shandong aircraft carrier was also built. The two carriers, which appear to have a total cost of about 6.1 billion USD, may well have also caused problems for the retired Wu. In January 2017, when the Liaoning ship was circling the eastern waters of Taiwan, the Taiwanese military sent RF-16 surveillance aircraft to take pictures of the ship and its accompanying fleet at night. The J-15 never raised an alert, revealing that the Liaoning was not capable of night operations. According to some reports, it was this incident that annoyed Xi Jinping so much that he asked Wu to retire. According to data released by American Research Institute, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, since 2014, China's annual defense expenditures have each exceeded $200 billion and have been rising year after year, reaching $266.45 billion in 2019. Based on the 2010-2017 data, the share of defense spending on equipment has also increased year after year, from 33% to 41%. Although there are international standards, such as the UN Military Spending Transparency System, compliance is purely voluntary. China began to implement this UN system in 2007, but its military spending reports are still not transparent enough compared to many countries. The outside world does not know how much of China's huge military spending is actually going into the pockets of individuals through a variety of channels. The number of Chinese generals investigated for corruption can be used as a reference. In less than eight years, from November 2012 to July 2020, 98 generals were removed from their position in the name of fighting corruption, including six generals, 13 lieutenant generals, and 79 major generals. According to data circulating on the internet, there are 38 PLA generals, 120 lieutenant generals, and 800 major generals in the People's Liberation Army, not including the 98 who have been investigated for corruption. The approximate percentage of generals, lieutenant generals, and major generals who have fallen from grace due to corruption is 15.8%, 10.8%, and 9.8% respectively. The Chinese Navy also has many other unknown secrets that may be directly linked to its performance in the war. Thank you for watching this video. We will continue to follow the affairs in China and keep our viewers informed. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when we have new videos uploaded. See you next time.